Hello everyone, my name is Ephraim Cutlow. We're back today, episode six, how to do a foot jam tail whip. I'm at Pete Brandt's house, lucky enough to be riding in his garage because it's raining on my first day out here in San Francisco. But one of the great things about Flatland, you can literally do it anywhere. So today, I'm bringing this how-to from Pete Brandt's garage. So one of the most important things I teach with this trick is thinking about what are you, say to yourself, what am I actually trying to do? So you're trying to do a foot jam tail whip and the way you're going to do it is you put your right foot on the left side of the frame, kind of like a can-can position, and the bike, practice this bit first. I will say this quite a lot to people. So you've got a straight line. So if you imagine you've a straight line in front of you, and then you whip the frame round, keep your foot locked in as long as possible, and then you're going to put your left foot on the frame, right foot on the pedal right away. Once again, try and keep this short and sweet. So with a foot jam whip, a couple of things to concentrate on. Step one, work out which way you're gonna rotate. So I kick the frame and it's anti-clockwise. And I balance predominantly with my left foot and I kick with my right. So work out which way you wanna do the tail whip. You might do it on the other side of the bike. So if you check my how to, then just mirror image to the other side of the bike, basically. Step two, really this trick is all about commitment. So stay, trust yourself and stay over the stem area of the bike. So between the stem and the front of the wheel, when you do the foot jam whip, keep it committed and that helps a lot with the trick. I feel like it's one of the most important things is just to be confident of being over the front of the bike. Step three, get used to um, how the foot jam whip feels. So quite often when I teach this trick, I tell people to get the bike in the position and just whip it round. Step four, landing the trick. I whip with my right foot and I use my arms, keep them straight. I found that helps quite a lot when I'm explaining to kids how to do a foot jam tail whip. Keep your foot solid in the tire, jammed into the fork as much as possible. Then what you want to do is, as you whip it round, spot the frame with your left foot, and then you're gonna, if you've got a brake, press both brakes, and then put your right foot on the pedal, let go of the brakes, and then ride away. If you've got no brakes, you want to leave your foot in the foot jam position as long as possible, then you're gonna to get to your right foot on the frame, and then ride away, keeping your foot on the tire as long as possible that kind of stalls the bike out i hope this helps episode six how to flatland and this has been the foot jam tail whip brought to you from pete brandt's garage in fremont california and guess what it's raining we'll be back with episode seven soon thanks for watching